Now let's take a quick look on why are we actually trying to explore the sun. Now first up is the reason that uh, we need to study the solar winds and their ori uh, origin. Now according to the ISRO, the sun emits radio radiations, light in nearly all wavelengths along with the various energy particles and magnetic fields. Now according to the space uh, uh, agencies, and spacecraft can orbit about uh, an unstable Lagrange point with the minimum use of thrusters for station keeping. Now such an orbit is also known as a halo orbit which is the best place to park this satellite and understand the sun's surface and the atmosphere around it. Now it appears as an ellipse floating over the planet. Now the reason too to understand and uh, carry out this mission is to understand the impact on Earth's climate pattern. Now space weather refers to changing environmental conditions in the space. It is mainly influenced by the activity on the sun's surface, which is the corona region. Now, in other words, the solar wind, which is the magnetic field, as well as the solar events like CME, affect the nature of the space in and around the corona region of the sun. Now, the third reason for why we are trying to carry out this mission is to understand the weathers in the space. Now, during such weather changes in the space uh, uh, and the atmospheric layers around the sun, uh, the nature of the magnetic field and charged particles environments near the planet keep changing. That directly affects the climate and the uh, atmospheric pressure in and around the earth as well. Now the fourth reason is that this Lagrange point uh, will be providing a direct insight into the galaxy. Now uh, this uh, Lagrange point is one of the five key points from where we could get a perfect view of the sun. It's basically like a parking slot to uh, place uh, the satellite and understand and get a front view of the activities of the sun. Well, ISRO's chairman S. Somnath on Friday visited the Sri Chingalama Parmeshwari temple in the run-up to the launch of the Aditya L1 mission and prayed for its success. Somnath had visited the temple on the eve of Chandrayaan 3 mission also. Now here's a special a report explaining the objectives and the aims of Aditya L1. Let's quickly take a look. After conquering the moon with Chandrayaan 3, ISRO is setting its sights on the sun. ISRO will launch the PSLV C-57 for the Aditya L1 mission on the 2nd of September at 11.50 a.m. from Sriharikota in Andhra Pradesh. The Aditya L1 will be India's first ever mission to study the sun. There are many more missions we should do. It's not limited to moon. We need to go to Mars, we need to go to Venus, we need to understand other planets. Sometimes go out of the our Earth, uh, solar system also to other exosolar planets. So all these are needed. We should do all of this. These are, these are first stepping stones of achieving that. In, for our generation, this is a step. Then for next generation, there will be many bigger steps. The name Aditya comes from the Hindi word for the sun. The spacecraft aims to study solar winds which can cause disturbance on Earth and are commonly seen as auroras. Recently, the European Space Agency had detected many small jets of charged particles expelled intermittently from the corona, which is the sun's outer atmosphere. This could help shed some light on the origins of solar wind. In the long run, data from this mission could help better understand the sun's impact on the Earth's climate patterns. And this in turn can have a profound impact on our planet's environment and technology. India's heavy-duty launch vehicle, the PSLV, will launch the Aditya L1. The spacecraft will travel 1.5 million kilometers in about four months to study the sun's atmosphere. Aditya L1 will go to something called a Lagrange point, which is where objects stay put because of balancing gravitational forces and thereby reduce fuel consumption for the aircraft. The spacecraft will be put in orbit around the L1 point from where it will be able to observe the sun without any obstructions. No, actually, that is a study project. I think they are going to study at a distance of 15 lakh kilometers. It is going closer to sun. 
and they are trying to understand the core and it's a good project see in isro we have no dearth of knowledge or intelligence or anything In 2018, NASA's Parker Solar Probe came closer to the sun than any other previous spacecraft. It went right through the sun's outer layer and endured extremely high temperatures exceeding 1000 degrees Celsius. But the Parker Solar Probe continued to function without any issues. On the contrary, the Aditya L1 spacecraft will be positioned much farther from the sun than NASA's Parker Solar Probe. It will not encounter such intense heat. Aditya L1 spacecraft will transport seven instruments to study the sun's outer layers such as the photosphere, chromosphere and outermost regions. These instruments will include detectors for electromagnetic and particle activities as well as to measure magnetic field. Four of these payloads will be used to look straight into the sun while the rest will study particles and fields at the L1 point. Why is studying the sun so critical? That's because solar weather and environment affect the weather of the entire solar system. Variations in this weather can change the orbits of satellites or shorten their lives. They can interfere with or damage electronics on board and even cause power blackouts and other disturbances back on Earth. So knowledge of solar events is key to understanding space weather. The sun's extreme heat and magnetic behavior can give us insight into our galaxy and far beyond. Well, after the successful launch and carrying out of the mission of Chandrayaan-3, uh, we India is all set to carry out its first ever solar mission. Well, we are slipping into a very short break. Stay tuned. We'll be right back with more news and updates on the other side.